You know, I was going to title this video something about the amount of wipes a year, but I really just want to title it We Are Starving. I really feel like this analogy of being starved by Battlestate Games is a really good one. Um, yeah, let's get into it. So, guys, do me a favor. Hit that fucking like button. Welcome back to the channel. If you're not new, if you are new, welcome to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Let's make it so next time you're not new. And, uh, yeah, love to have you around. Let's hop into this one, man. Basically, this video is about... Tarkov only wiping twice a year and why it is just not enough, man. It is not enough for us. We need more wipes. And I would personally love to see a wipe every three months and then have the content drop on the second and fourth wipe of the year, just like they're doing now, but putting two interval wipes to keep us from starving. Um, but the three month thing, I don't think it's going to work simply because I feel like it'll be a Timmy uproar and it's going to be way too many casual players saying, I'm only level 10. I don't even have the flea market yet. It's three months into the game. And my response to that is just play the fucking game. But that's something we can get into. Um, I really think a healthy middle ground is going to be three wipes a year, once every four months. And this is what they actually used to do. If you guys didn't know, before point 12, it was roughly every four months. Point 12 happened. I believe that was the implementation of reserve. And then the game has been on a two wipe cycle ever since then every single year that's about when i started playing as well if you were wondering 12.3 era i've been playing for almost three years now making content for almost two so it's a little background if you are new but um honestly man i think the game needs four wipes a year because of the fact at the three month point this game is fucking stale and dead um i don't mean that in a bad way you guys know i love battle state games man i they are literally one of the best developing teams i have ever seen in gaming you guys know how i feel about tarkov it's the best fps on the market it's going to be the best fps until they release russia 2028 it's going to be and it, there's no denying that it is revolutionized gaming in my opinion for fps titles it is just one of the best the most realistic one of the grittiest one of the most hardcore just gives me goosebumps talking about it because it's such a good title but the unfortunate fact for myself personally is that i've been playing it for three years now i know all the ins and outs i know where the scavs spawn i know how pmcs act i know where pmcs are going to be at i know how players are going to react if i do something like this and something like that um, if I want good loot, I go here. If I want to get meds, I go here. If I want food, I go here. I'm not starving. I'm not dehydrating. I'm not dying as much in raid. There's a lot of stuff that I've learned over the years that really take your progression to the next level once you master a certain class of something in Escape from Tarkov. So once you master how to loot, you don't have to worry about it. Once you master PvP, you feel a lot more comfortable. Once you know all your scav spawns, you're never caught lacking. Once you guys know PMC spawns, you're never going to get dropped in the first seven seconds of raid if you guys play it correctly. These things are all things as you learn, you progress faster. And the more you progress, the faster and faster and faster, the quicker you'll either get burnt out or bored and escape from Tarkov. And that is the unfortunate circumstance that I lie in as a content creator who plays roughly 200 to 250 hours in the first month of a wipe. So... Let me talk about my personal experience when the game wipes and then what happens for me. And then I'll try to take it from somebody who isn't as grindy but still plays the game. When it comes to casuals, guys, I don't mean anybody, any disrespect or emotional damage. But I'm going to be honest. If you guys only play an hour a week and, you know, you're three months into a wipe and you say, I don't even have the flea market yet. No way you wipe the game yet. Guys, your opinion just doesn't matter in this case. If you don't have the flea market three months into the wipe, your opinion really holds no weight because it takes you literally two days to get the flea market. Just go sh kill shit in factory and you will have the flea market in literally two days. It is very easy. Um, so like I said, no disrespect. Everybody that's a casual, thank you for playing Escape from Tarkov and viewing my channel. You know, you're part of the health of the game as well. But in this case, talking about wipe here today, your opinion really doesn't matter. All right, let's talk about it. So for me, wipe happens, wipe day, I'm on. I've never missed a wipe day. I never intend to. I don't care what I have going on. I'm not missing a wipe day. And I will be grinding for the next week, interchange only, grinding items and making money. That's what I do. So once I got my money, week two is focused on thick items cases and leveling up, of course getting some tasks done intermediately as well, seeing what I can do when I can. But by the end of week three, I want to have three thick items cases. Usually that's what I have about then. And then probably after a month, I'll have five. 
and then I'm pretty set on money for the rest of the way, but I can kind of take it easy. But unfortunately, after all of that, that's when I start to get bored because once I know I'm financially stable in Escape from Tarkov, I don't have a true reason to play other than PvP. I mean, I could go for Kappa, but why, you know? The Gamma is plenty for me. I don't need the extra three spaces. It's a big difference going from Alpha to Kappa, but when you have Gamma already, mm, I don't really need Kappa, so I don't have to do that. The only thing that keeps me going on Escape from Tarkov recently has been to make YouTube content for you guys. Now let's take it a little out of the content creator, the grinder, the sweat mode that I'm in, and let's go to someone who's a bit more casual but actually plays the game. I would say within about three months, that's when they start getting bored. I say it's a really, really fine-tuned area between the early wipe, mid wipe, and early mid wipe, and then late mid wipe to early end wipe. And I'm going to be honest, every six months, the end wipe is already at the third month. Mid wipe is pretty much over by the three month period. Mid wipe recently has been starting within the first month of a wipe because of how many people have learned the game, mastered the game, mastered progression, and they've started progressing so fast to a point where we basically need more wipes more frequently because players know what they're doing. When you start to master something, you get you don't need practice anymore. And basically the extra time you get in wipes is just your practice period. That's how I see it now, man. And it's like players are so good at this game now. In the first month, they are already fully kitted out, max traders, max level. And the only thing they're doing is either playing for PvP or playing for Kappa. And, you know, if we have it every three months and we maybe lower that level a little bit, I think it's 62 right now for Kappa. Let's say we lower it to like 50, 55 area. You could probably achieve that well before three months. I just think the game gets really, really stale after three months. And the fact we have to wait another three months to get a wipe, sometimes even longer. Right now, I think we're pushing seven. Um, guys, I, I just... You know, I know I'm just talking to you guys and we're not actually talking to Battle State Games here. But, you know, it just feels like we're being starved. I feel like we are actually being starved. You know, we get a wipe, we're well fed. I mean, we, we just had a nine course meal and we are good to go, baby. Month one is done. We are still feeling great. We are energized. We are hydrated. We are well fed. Got a nice little tummy on us. We are good to go. Month two comes around. Yeah, we're losing a little bit of weight. Maybe we could go for a bottle of water, but we're doing all right. Month three, eh, we're pretty fucking skinny now, all right? We're definitely, you know, lacking on our hydration. We're a little dehydrated, but, you know, we're still gaming. Month four, I say we're hungry. Month five, we're really fucking hungry. Month six, we are fucking starving. And right now, I am fucking starving. I want the wipe, man. I, I just, it's like... I feel like I go week after week after week after week and not making a video for you guys. And it's like, I know when wipe comes around, I'm making two to three videos a day for a month straight. And it's fucking amazing. Everybody loves the game. Discord's popping. Twitter's popping. Nobody's bitching about the game. Nobody's bitching about cheaters. Nobody's bitching about content because we're all having so much fun on the game. It's like, why are we depriving ourselves to only two months of true fun gameplay on a game that is so good and so deserving and maybe arena really helps with that too i mean potentially arena could be a game changer from when wipe is really stale head over to arena want some really fucking phenomenal pvp there you go i mean that might be a way to lock it in that might be the change we need but right now man we're starving i'm telling you we are starving even if you're a casual player six months deep into the game there's no fucking way Unless you're in the honeymoon phase. If you haven't had a wipe yet, or it's your very first wipe, possibly even your second wipe, honeymoon phase, you are going to feel great no matter what. And Escape from Tarkov is the best feeling. Never let that go. The longer you hold on to that honeymoon phase, man, the longer you will love and enjoy Escape from Tarkov. I had it for about, I'd say, eight months in my first year of playing. It was so great. Um, You know, completely sidetracked there. But I think we're starving, man. I think we need this wipe now. I, I genuinely think we just need it. Um, And in the future... You know, I know we're pushing content releases with every wipe, but dude, just give us four wipes a year. Give us the new content on two and four every year and just let us enjoy the game even more. Not saying Tarkov's not enjoyable, but, you know, it gets stale. It gets boring. That's what I wanted to rant about here today, man. You know, if you guys love Tarkov, you got to feel this somehow. I mean, this has got to resonate with you somehow, shape or form. 
Um, let me know in the comments, though. Genuine feelings, genuine feedback, uh, genuine criticism if you want. Um, you know, I don't know what you could criticize me on. Just having an opinion here, but shit. It's the internet. Fuck it. Nah, man, I'm kind of vibey today, and I'm having a good time. Uh, I've been making the cycle videos. So you guys want to check that out. Aces TCF. Uh, if you want some gaming, Call of Duty shit for me. Aces Game. You can find me everywhere, man. I'm trying my best to make content wherever I can. And, uh, you know, it's not always here on the Tarkov channel because we are indeed starving. Do me a favor, leave that like, subscribe. Sponsor the equipment description below. You guys know the drill, man. Thank you so much for stopping by today. See you in the next one.